And welcome to another episode of Toya Talks Wrestling. Um, today we're going to talk about stuff that happened on Raw. Just some of the little bit of highlights. Um, just a reminder that yesterday on Raw was September 30th, 2024. It's the last Raw that is three hours. So next Monday, after Bad Blood, the following Monday we'll have Raw, but only for two hours. So it'll be from 8 to 10. Some of the things, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that happened on Raw. One thing that happened on Raw was they had the, the match with um, Xavier Woods and Rey Mysterio. Xavier Woods ended up winning by taking off the mask of Rey Mysterio. Now, it was later asked by Kofi, did you take it off on purpose or was it an accident? He said it was an accident. I don't know, but he won by a roll up, and then not Xavier. Um, Kofi Kingston had a match with um Chad Gable, and it looked like Kofi Kingston at the end of the match looked like Kofi Kingston was about to win, but because of a mistake, quote unquote, by um Xavier Woods, he ends up getting um chaos theory and losing the match now. And ex- not Xavier. Kofi Kingston did not look too happy about this situation. And the way it looks like now, it's kind of like you don't know who's going to turn here. Because last time it looked like, um, you know, Xavier was going to turn heel. And then now it kind of looks like, you know, Kofi Kingston's going to turn heel. Because Kofi Kingston pretty much told. Um, Xavier would say, hey, you are in charge. You are the quarterback and everything else. And some of these plays are not really working favor for Kofi Kingston, but more so for Xavier Woods. So I'm not even sure who is going to turn heel here. Like Triple H in this situation got us on our toes. Cause I have no idea who's going to be doing what. Another thing that happened on while that Jey Uso talked to the WWE Universe, per- pretty much just thanking the WWE Universe and how the 14 years and the struggles and everything else. And he mentioned Roman Reigns and he ended up mentioning his mom and all this other stuff. And he wanted to show off the new IC title, which I really like. I really like it. It's like kind of the same, but it has like a splash of blue in it. And I really like it. I think it like this brings out like everything. It's something different. I will show you a picture of it. Um, I think it's great. I love it. I love the color. I love the style of it. Something I think it's pretty. Anyways, so then Braun Breaker comes out. And he goes into the ring. And he basically was like, you know, I'm not here to attack you. I'm not here to spear you. You know, I just wanted to be the first one to congratulate you. You we got a hell of a match and, and everything else like that. Um, they ended up ha- shaking hands and, you know, you know, Jey Uso gave some props to uh, Braun Breaker. So, those of you who may be confused, um, Braun Breaker is turning face. And the reason why he's turning face is eventually he is going to be going up against um, Gunther for his title. So, they needed him to turn face. That's probably why... They had Jey Uso win the title so that they can move Ron Breaker up to um, the world title. So I'm, I'm really interested to see when that's going to happen. Speaking of the world heavyweight title, um, Sami Zayn for the last couple of weeks has been trying to get a match with Gunther to get his title. He finally got that match after just poking the bear and poking the bear and poking the bear that he finally got the match. So next Monday, not at that blood, but Monday on Raw, they will have a match between Gunther versus Sami Zayn for the World Heavyweight title. Seeing as bad blood is this Saturday, we had a lot of promos and stuff like that. So we had a promos between... CM Punk and Drew McIntyre where they were in some kind of like a cage 
ring thing and they had like security guards in the ring and you know basically they're like basically telling each other i'm going to kill you i'm going to make you bleed i'm going to give you hell you're going to be you know you'll never come back and you know all 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 the promo wrestling i'm a tough guy words so yeah it was a great promo Ugh. it was a great promo from both of them and as, as always i will put in the links in the box below so you can go check them out if you haven't seen them already the judgment day and the terror twins had their little promos and stuff like that it ended up with pretty much damien priest laid out in front of judgment day and i'll talk a little bit more about that thursday also next week i might add that Jey Uso will be fighting Xavier Woods. Jey Uso went up to Kofi Kingston and pretty much said, you know, I want you to have the first title shot to this title. And Kofi Kingston was like, thanks, but I think you should give it to Xavier Woods. So next week, Xavier Woods versus Jey Uso for the Intercontinental Championship. Another thing that happened on Raw was The Miz went up to Braun Strowman and told him, asked him about why he interrupted his match last week. He wanted to get at Bronson Reed. And here comes our truth Our truth comes in, and Miz was like, What are you doing here? And our truth was like, I work here. <laughs> I love our truth. <laughs> and, um,. Ron, Ron Shulman was like, look, I have to get ready for this match. If you want to talk to me after the match, cool, I'm, I'll be available for you and everything else. So then The Mist was asking R-Truth, why didn't you tell me you were coming? And R-Truth was like, well, I wanted to help you because it looked like Karrion Cross was bullying you. And Mist was like, he ain't bullying me. He's like, R-Truth was like, well, either way, I talked to Adam Pearce and we have a match against AOP. And Miz was like, AOP? Yeah, AOP. Obviously, you know, AOP, all sorts of pain. But from now on, <laughs> we're calling him AOP. <laughs> Ella, we're calling him from now on. We're calling him AOP. So they have a match with them and they started fighting with them and everything else. Eventually, the Miz turned on R Truth, attacked him, and left the ring, leaving um our truth with AOP, which AOP won. So I don't know what's going on. I look. If there's one thing that I know about the Miz. I don't think the Miz turns face very long. Turns face too long. It's like there's like a six month, five to six months, and then he's like turns right back to heel. I don't know what he's gonna do as a heel and on Raw, but I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. So the last thing I'd like to talk about was, was the main event of the night. We had the last monster standing match. Bronson Reed versus Braun Strowman. And as I said before last week, man, everything broke. <laughs> everything was broken. This match was just like Godzilla versus King Kong. You know, it was incredible. I've, I can't even like describe everything like they broke the announce tables, they broke chairs, they broke tables at one point. Um, let me just go ahead and fast forward to the end. They went through a couple of barricades and when they went to one barricade, the one barricade they went through was kind of like the barricade that was kind of like for like the audience members and the crowd. So they kind of like. I don't know if any of the audience me members got hurt or anything. They had a bunch of security guards come in and everything. They're trying to secure that area. Bronson re-throws Braun Strowman into the ring. And the ref was out there with the security guy trying to, trying to you know, calm the situation down with the whole barricades and the audience and stuff like that. And so Bronson re goes up on the top rope and he does a tsunami, right? And, you know, he waits for the ref to get in the ring and everything else. And he's looking. The ref's still outside the ring. He's doing his thing, whatever. And, and that stuff like that. So, you know, Bronson Reed goes up again and does another tsunami. 
And, you know, this t by this time, you know, we're on, like, a 20 count for, like, Braun Strowman, right? And Braun but the ref's still not in the ring. And Reed is like, ref! Ref! Like, on the top of his lungs, right? He's just yelling for the ref. Finally kills out of the ring. And he starts tossing, like, security guys. Like, just tossing them one by one and every right, you know, till he got to the ref. He got to the ref and he tosses the ref towards like the ring. Says, "Get in the ring." Here comes Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce gets in Bron Br Bronson Reed's face, saying, "Hey, you can't touch the ref and everything else and all this other stuff." So then Bronson Reed grabs Adam Pierce by the like the neck or whatever, and here comes a bunch of other security guards and everything else, and they're trying to like ha get Bronson Reed to let go of Adam Pierce. As this is happening, they're like by the area where like the announce table used to be. And here comes Braun Strowman. Coming up from like the top rope. Goes up and he jumps on everyone from the top rope. So he jumps about like eight people maybe. It, it was just a chaotic freaking mess, right? So then he goes and he throws Bronson Reed into the ring. And he's about to go up to the top rope. I don't know what he was going to do. But like Bronson Reed ends up meeting him there at the top rope. And you know they fight on the top rope for a little bit. And here comes Bronson Reed. He does a suplex. And yes of course it happened. The ring breaks. And you know the ring breaks. It collapses. The whole crowd is counting holy shit. Holy shit. It always reminds me. Every time like the ring collapses. It always reminds me. That one. I, was it Charles? I think it was Charles, the ref, that just got booted out of the ring once the ring collapsed. Every time, every time I think, I always think of that, it just makes me laugh. But anyways, right? So you have like 700 plus pounds of this on the mat. Both of them are down. And here comes the ref. The ref starts counting. One. Two, he's getting up slowly, right? And he's going towards, there's like a still, still steps in the um, ring. So I'm, gu I'm guessing he's going towards the steps, you know, so he can get some leverage so he can stand up. But like, here comes, like, here comes someone. You hear, you know someone's coming, right? Because the crowd, there's no music, but the crowd is like getting hyped and everything. The crowd is like excited. And they're like, oh my God. And they're yelling and everything like that. And... It turns out that person was Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins curb stomps um, Bronson Reed onto the still steps. And Braun Strowman stands up on time and wins the match. Man, what a good match. What a great freaking ending. And I cannot wait. To have the feud between Bronson Reed versus Seth freaking Rollins. It was fucking amazing. Ugh, it was so good. But that is all for now. Um, I do have another video today. Go check that out. It has nothing to do with wrestling. That was just me. Just, you know, random talks and everything else. Just chilling and talking. So you go check that out. But until then... I will see you guys this Thursday on T to T Wrestling with Tim. I have a good rest of your day. Bye.